from the studios of Farm Journal Broadcast. This is U.S. Farm Report. Welcome to U.S. Farm Report this weekend. I'm Tyne Morgan, and here's what's in store over the next 60 minutes. Scolding temps continue to bake the south, with high heat now set to barge into the Midwest and plains next week. So the current thinking is that um, we're going to be seeing the heat stick around from probably Wednesday through the weekend for much of that area. So that's that's a good five days of heat. A Kentucky community still grappling with devastation from a rare December tornado in 2021. And they were hit again with massive flooding this week. It's my 50th crop that I'm putting out. Never in my lifetime have I ever seen over 11 inches in a 24 hour period. Tensions escalate in the Black Sea region. But I think the rally we've seen really is upon kind of the you know musical chairs that's going to be played here in regards to who's getting shorted with supply. But was it the only commodity catalyst this week? And in John's world, the Gulf of Mexico hot tub. Now for the news, escalating attacks and tensions between Russia and Ukraine had a big impact on the wheat market this week and Russia halting the Black Sea grain deal, an extension of the deal running out on Monday. The news coming just hours after a blast hit Russia's bridge to Crimea. Russia says the strike was caused by Ukrainian sea drones, but Russia said its halting of the grain deal had nothing to do with the attack. It said the grain deal was not implemented properly and that it would return to the agreement as soon as the Russian part of the agreement was fulfilled. Ultimately, participation in these agreements is a choice, but struggling people everywhere and developing countries don't have a choice. Hundreds of millions of people face hunger and consumers are confronting a global cost of living crisis and they will pay the price. 